Hi guys, it's Saturday afternoon and I am, can you guess? <laughs> Look at those rolls with the cinnamon butter. Okay, so the only steak that has bone in it is the bone-in ribeye. 20 ounce, oh lordy, <laughs> that would feed me for a week. 20 ounce is $31.99. And then the porterhouse tea bone, 23 ounce, $34.49. Okay, so he said the New York strip is more lean and it's it wouldn't be as tender as the Fort Worth ribeye. So I, I ordered the 12 ounce Fort Worth ribeye and then my sides are going to be um, the Caesar salad and mashed potatoes with gravy. Okay so here's my Caesar salad and I ordered it with no croutons. I love bread y'all but for some reason I just don't like croutons on my salad. Then I have my tea with lemon and Splenda. So let me get busy and dig in. I'm going to start with three Splendas. You can always add more, right? The salad is huge. I'm going to be full. Cool. Are we okay with bread, Mom? Yes. I, I would like some more ice. More ice? Yes. Yeah. I like a lot of ice in my tea. So I'm trying hard to get used to my prescription eyeglasses that I've had for, what, two years? So here's my real behind and my mashed Would potatoes like and gravy. sauce for the steak? No, I'm good. Okay, yeah. you got it. Enjoy. Thank you. He offered me A1 sauce, but I like it just like it is. So let me cut into it and let's see if it's as rare as I want it to be. Yes, it's very rare, exactly the way I love it. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so we can talk. Oh, and this is my gravy. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Add my gravy to my potatoes. These are nice and chunky. <laughs> I want to thank you, Bonnie. You're so sweet and thoughtful. I really appreciate this. It's such a special treat. And thank you so much for sending this to me. And she sent me that um, rug for my shoulder. It came in the same package as the gift card. It was called um, Will, W-I-L-L, -L, Relief by Serena Williams. And it's lidocaine, and it does work. I hardly ever make homemade mashed potatoes to y'all. And I love them. I don't know why I don't make them more often. Remember when the food industry changed everything? They took the fat out of everything. Fat free this, fat free that. All they did was they had to add more sugar to it to make it taste like anything. The temperature's good? Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Um, you know, it's the fat that makes food taste delicious. That doesn't make it fat itself. The sugar and carbs that make it fat. My family brought me here for my birthday about four years ago. They put me on a saddle. <laughs> I didn't weigh as much then as I do now. I think I weighed about 180. Last time I went to my primary care doctor and got on the scale, I weighed 212. I can't believe I gained so much weight. I 
make and lose it. I just got to set my mind to it and get back on keto. Do y'all watch college football? I like college football. When I lived in Tennessee, I worked for the Tennessee Valley Authority. Santa and it's right, right near the University of Tennessee. Of course, everything there is orange. That's their colors. Oh, and it was big hustle and bustle. Game weekend. It's a lot of fun. I miss Knoxville. I, I love that city. So beautiful there, and the people are a lot slower. They move a lot slower than they do here in Long Island. This restaurant is in a town called East Meadow, and it's real close to another town called Flemingdale. And they had a terrible tragedy here a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if it was on the national news, but it was. I did see it on the internet. Their band for Farmingdale High School was headed to the Poconos for an annual band camp that they go to every year. I think they were in six buses, and one of the buses, the front right tire blew out, and the bus careened down a ravine and turned over, and it killed the band director. It's just horrible, and it injured a lot of people. It's just a tragedy. So it's been very sad for the residents of this area, but the band performed last night for the first time since the accident. So, you know, you, people just, like we all do, you just have to pick yourself up and keep going. You can't let tragedy set you back and keep you from living your life. That's what I love about the human spirit. You just can't keep us down. Okay, well, I'm going to go and finish my dinner. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. It's always good to see you. And I've really enjoyed reading y'all's comments lately. So please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And y'all just keep on coming back. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.